And you know, it's been several times throughout these years. It don't seem like a long time, to be honest. Like, you think about it, all these years, it may not seem like a long time, but it's definitely felt like it. You know, just in everyday life, you know. Uh, and in spite of what I was going through and what I was facing, it's been actually several times, several instances where I managed to, let's just say, you know, put off like destruction, like from society, because it was a point in time, it was a thing at one point when I was actually being threatened with the lives of the commonplace, because whoever was doing it, they knew I was for the people, you feel me? And they knew that I stood for the people because if you pay attention to all my stuff, it's only one thing, I mean, the only thing I say is glorify God, you know, I live for God, you know, uh, praise Jesus, um, you know what I'm saying, praise Yeshua, the Lord is King, you know, those kind of things. So that showed the people that I live and stood for God and not myself, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't promoting or exalting myself, I was exalting the Lord. So that showed the people that I was for the people. And, you know, that was the situation. So there had been times when if I didn't allow certain things to happen to me and my, um, like my work, my legacy and stuff at certain times, then um, I was threatened with even the lives of the public, you know, and stuff like that, you know, um, secretly, you know, in addition to everything else I was going through. So it was rough, you know what I mean? And it was like an opp optimistic type thing. That was a point in time in history where most of the people, like, it was just like a full thorough man like i don't really know how to describe it it was like turned into like a ball of confusion on purpose like from 2016 17 18 like those years were like just i mean it was it was things going on before that point but i just used my life as a reference point you know what i'm saying that's all i care about my life is you know those things relative to my life that's what my testimony is i'm talking about you know the events the, and things from the perspective of the civilian I am, the author I am, the artist I am, and the Christian I am first, and the black man, you know, and these things that I've seen is, you know, so, I mean, when you live for God, you don't really care much about recognition, you feel me, because you, you don't really care much about recognition, you know, being, you know what I'm saying, recognized for doing good and things like that, and so, I mean, but it's been several times when it was like pretty, pretty, pretty large situations that were happening and, and it was being, it was like festering on the low, right, right below, I guess, the public's perceptibility because um, I guarantee you, you know, a lot of those things would not have helped anybody regardless of whatever their position was in the minorities, you know what I mean, in society, in the working class, you know, it was bad for everybody. It was always something that was just that dramatic and drastic and cruel. And it surprised me how cruel that these bad for me, high society people that was doing this were. They were willing to like destroy people, like thousands of millions of people on several occasions if they didn't have their way or if certain people didn't get through their door of success. You know what I'm saying? And that's something I've seen so many times, man. And it's just like, it was so disturbing and so painful like to see that people were actually that evil. You know, in those ways. So I mean, but yeah, man. Um, and and it turns out a couple of cases I ended up actually getting attacked brutally and fatally. You know what I'm saying by like the very people I was protecting. But they didn't. But but at the same thing. I mean, at the same time, they didn't understand. So I really didn't. So that is that would show them why Ellie is who he is. Because a lot of things that happened in my life, I didn't understand. So, God didn't count it. You see? And that's um, how that worked, you know. Uh, but, I mean, but, yeah, you know, and and, and many times I saw, like, you, I wouldn't even be surprised, you know, it's been many times when you will see that I saw that the Baphomet and the influences that's involved in it, you know, whenever I saw, you know, when, like if, if I just, you know, just like they're the kind of people that if you say, you know, that they don't like the thought of, you know, I guess a man of my dimensions or appearance or whatever, you know, um, being responsible for the preservation of much of, you know, humanity and things like resolve with peaceful solutions on like biblical scales, biblical proportion with poetry. And that's why, you know what I mean, if, if you know, like, people don't understand, like, my stuff been getting, trust me, my stuff definitely been getting recognition, you know what I'm saying, the whole time, I mean, 
international, global, you know, and national too, you know what I mean? So, so I mean, my stuff been seen and known, you know, for a long time. And the things I was saying were talking about what I was going through, um, panegyrics, exalting the Lord Jesus. And also, I mean, just, you know, observations of reality, you know, from what I could understand at the time. And, and then, you know, the Baphomet is the kind of, I guess you could say it's, it's, I think the Baphomet is just the devil It's like the dragon You know The dragon is the kind of entity and being That is If you If people know that you That you Did a good uh, Justice for humanity Then they'll, do, they'll try to destroy humanity Just because they don't like the fact That somebody that looked like you did it Or responsible for it You feel me Then they'll be like You know what I'm saying People realize that Okay I've um You know I did this to help people And I've I've, tr I've You know artistically been able to like I guess use my pain and things and what I was going through my personal life to thwart you know um, a lot of you know unnecessary persecution for you know a lot of innocence and stuff and then you know when they hear that or see that they're, they're the kind of people or person or place or whatever that they'll say okay now we're going to destroy all uh, people in a couple months you know what I'm saying because this guy prevented this before so then that's showing everybody what kind of people they are. And it shows everybody who they are. And then they identify as themselves in the Bible and in Satan. You know what I'm saying? And that's the kind of situation it is. They'll try to destroy everybody or everything just because, you know, uh, somebody resolve a uh, massive, unnecessary, you know, greed-powered contentions, you know what I'm saying, that would have been to the detriment of millions. You know, just because somebody resolved that peacefully and artistically, you know, several times. I mean, uncredited, of course, uncredited, of course, you know, absolutely uncredited, unrecognized. Matter of fact, for that, I get de-emphasized and invalidated um, and disinvented. You know what I'm saying? So this has been like a situation for a long time. And it's, yeah, it's been an agenda, man. But I mean, it's like they were going nowhere fast, though, because in the end, what did they gain? They just stopped. They, they, you know, went tooth and nail to stop the purposes of God, and for what, you know? So God go proclaim judgment, you know, in His due time, you know, because of all these things. But you know, the cup almost full, you know. You know, it's a wrap. It's a cup. It's cups in heaven, you know, for places, you know, and for Babylon, like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's cups in heaven, and it's cups of sin and stuff, you know. And when that cup gets to a certain point and it overflow and it gets too full, then that's when the judgment of God comes. The full wrath of God with no mercy. You know, and we're almost to that point. The cup is almost full. Because God has been watching for a long time. He's seen a whole lot of sin. Sin to reach all the way up to heaven. You know. Sin is stink in the nostrils of God. Like sin. Like God don't like sin. You know, that's how it is. And that's the situation. I mean, well, yeah, man, I've I sacrificed much, you know, in addition to what I, I already lost by being, that was being taken and stolen and swindled and extorted, you know, all that, you know what I'm saying? In addition to that, you know, uh, I've also had to sacrifice in the ball of confusion. While all this was happening, you know, I was, you know, forced to make decisions that were better Everybody as opposed to bettering myself. And you know, God see all that, you know. So I mean, I say, you know, in, in the event where, you know, I'm not in, a, you know, I'm not, let's say in a physical form no more. I just tell people don't worry about me, like the saints and everybody. Don't, don't be concerned, you know, at that point, you know, because, um, you know, God got me. Just like you got y'all, you know.